Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordeen. If you're new here, today's video is going to be a comparison video. We're going to be trying out the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation with the Chanel Le Beige Complexion Touch Water Tint. So if you're interested in how these compare, then keep on watching. Right, so this should be interesting. We're going to be comparing the Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation, which I actually really like, to the Le Beige Complexion Touch Water Fresh Complexion Touch, the tint, um, just to see the difference and how the coverage looks on the skin and the finish as well. So, um, pretty simple video. If anyone was interested in that, I did get a comment in the Complexion Touch review about comparing the two. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But for anyone who hasn't seen it before, this is what the Le Beige Foundation bottle looks like. It's a glass bottle. Um, it's pretty compact. I like it. It's a one ounce and the shade is BD131. It is a pump, um, just in case you guys don't know that really like this foundation then this is the component for the complexion touch um if you guys haven't seen that video yet so this side i'm gonna do the foundation this side i'll do the tint if you guys hear any background noise it's my daughter it's her birthday today so she's opening all her stuff um so please don't mind that i'm sorry i have a kid <laughs> all right so on my face you know i think i'm just gonna add a little bit more moisturizer Been in the elements this is uh charlotte tilbury magic cream okay there we go gonna start off with the healthy glow foundation first this is one pump it's a pretty small pump i'm using a beauty blender It does have a fragrance, just a heads up. I'm gonna add more. I'm just gonna pop it on the back. And just kinda dot it all over. There we go. See, this color is perfect. BD131, in case you guys wanted to know my shade in Chanel. This is like one of my perfect shades, one of my perfect matches, so can reference that all right blends out pretty easily as you can see it is a medium buildable coverage you can get a little bit more like a medium it's buildable medium buildable not like completely full it's gonna look like skin for the most part so this is what my skin looks like looks really good Alright, so let's go in with the complexion touch over on this side. The only difference is that this shade is BR132. So BR normally is cool in Chanel. BD is warm. So um, as you can see, it is a little deeper. But just so I use the same amount of product. I'm doing two pumps on this side too like I did on this side. You can see straight on that is much sheer and then it's more red unfortunately but I can balance it out in the complexion touch the low beige complexion touch it goes by numbers like BD like whatever the number is and I think the original Le beige like water tint and the more rectangle component um, just goes by categories of shades, so like fair, light, medium, tan, deep, if I'm not mistaken. So that's the difference with the shades. So this is the difference. You can definitely tell that the shade is different straight on, um, but we're going to add concealer. It should be able to balance it out. We're going to use the same concealer on both sides, and I'm going to use the same concealer that I've used with the tint because I feel like it works well with it. So I'm going in with the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Concealer. This shade is 53. I want 55. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to do 55. No, not 55. 50. 50 neutral. I wear 55 in the foundation. 50 neutral in the concealer because it's closer to my skin tone. 
and I'm just doing a couple of dots. Actually, I'm not doing a couple of dots. I'm adding a lot more because I want more coverage, <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> there we go. But this um, concealer is pretty good coverage. Starting off, so if you haven't tried it and you are, and you do want to try it, geez, words, and you do want to try it, start off with a little bit and then build it up. But again, I want more coverage. So we're just going to go ahead and blend that out. Hoping that we can't really tell a difference between the two complexion items once we have our concealer on. You can still see a little bit of red here, but it will work. Before I blend this down, let me just zoom in so you can see the difference with the coverage. Okay, here we are. So, zoomed in, you can see the difference with the coverage. The Healthy Glow Foundation here, you can see... My cheeks are a little bit more concealed and then here with the complexion touch you can see a little bit more discoloration showing through finish is beautiful though it has a nice glow to it same over here but you can definitely see that this is a little bit more perfected whereas this is more natural all right let's blend this out Concealer just brings everything together, you know? It just really does. Them under eyes be taken away from everything. But yes, it just brings everything together. So, here's what we look like with concealer. You can still see that red peeking through, but it's fine. For powder, I'm going to be going in with the Dior Cushion Powder, one of my favorites. This is in the shade Deep, and we're going to be using the little puff pad that comes in it. Because I like puff pads with powders now that I've been using my Laura Mercier with the puff pad. Is it a puff pad or velour puff? You know what I mean. All right, so let's go and set. Oh, this powder is so good. So this is what we're looking like. You can't tell me that my skin doesn't look good. It looks good, okay? Yes. On both sides, it looks good. Like, this looks more natural, but then this looks a little bit more perfected. So that's the difference. That's what we're going with. Perfection and skin. Let's go on with the NARS Laguna Bronzer as our cream bronzer for today. Let's use our items. Using the Color Drain angled blush brush for this and just blending that out Okay, so cream bronzer all on our complexion. I don't know what I want to use for blush. If I want to use Chanel or I want to use Pat McGrath. Let's do Chanel. Let's do the Chanel because I do think that this is back. Sorry if it's not. Um, but this was the limited edition illuminating blush powder. The Blush Lumiere in Bron Rousey. I love this thing. It's so good. Using a Sonia G Detail Face Brush. Look at this. Oh, it's like a bronzy terracotta. I don't even know how to explain it. But yeah, it does what it needs to do, okay? And then it has a slight glow to it, so it gives a nice sheen to the skin. So this is what my complexion is looking like with majority of um, everything on that I want to put on. I'm not sure if I want to put on a highlighter yet. We'll see. I feel like I want to omit that today. Yeah, we're not going to put highlighter on. Um, just so that we can see the glow of both 
the products. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to have my makeup on for about four or five hours today because it's literally the evening. Um, like I mentioned, it's my child's birthday, but I just wanted to film this video for you guys and film another video just to get it up. But yeah, this looks good. Okay, so this is what my complexion is looking like once we have all of our makeup on. I did go in with a little bit of powder under my eyes, additional powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder, the Brightening Powder in Tan Deep, um, just to enhance the eye look that I have on. So that is the difference to my complexion at the moment, but everything else is the same that I showed you that we put on, and I think it's pretty balanced at the moment. Um, you can see a little bit more redness on this side, but other than that, it's pretty balanced. It's not like obvious that one is more sheer than the other. Um, even looking up close, it's really not that obvious. So I think both of them look really good. What do you guys think? Please leave it down below in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on each item. You know, of course, this is given to me, especially with the eye look that I have on today. I feel like, oh, this is perfect. This would be a more everyday type of situation, like we mentioned before. So that's going to be it for today's video. Everything will be linked down in the description box down below if you're interested in trying anything out. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jordine. I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up because it helps me out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.